Hi, hello and welcome. Starting off year 4. Let's go. It's gonna be a cutscene. Has to be a cutscene, right? There we go. The flashback cutscene. He needs some milk! Yeah, of course, because your first response is to go into a house that the door randomly swings open. As any sane human being would do, just break and enter without a reason. Your goddamn petty. Uh. What the hell? He died. <laughs> Going to the Quidditch World Cup? George, aren't they supposed to like come with us? of course gonna be oh there they are this is of course gonna be a really long cutscene because they're introducing the new year at hogwarts <laughs> did you guys see harry look into his cup <laughs> so dumb there we go hi hello and welcome year four completely skipped the the main event like the the championship itself they just didn't show anything of that kind of sad then again i guess they didn't do that in the movie either which is something that a lot of people were kind of well well yeah mad upset mad and upset about the entire start of the movie is dedicated to hyping up this quidditch tournament that's gonna be the most amazing thing ever and then they just skip on it entirely they show like the first seconds and then it just cuts to the gang hanging out afterwards. Quite sad, quite stupid. But I guess probably had its reasons. I'm no movie designer, so I don't know. It's Friday right now. Pretty late already. It's like almost 11 p.m. I think already. But I have to upload a video tomorrow and Sunday. And I haven't got anything yet, so better play some LEGO Harry Potter, huh? Hopefully me being kind of tired already won't interfere with my commentary or my gameplay for that matter. But I think I should still be fine. But it seems that in fact he was not fine. And therefore his commentary in this video is quite shite. I always get like this, this natural, this, this automatic, that's what I'm looking for. This automatic feeling of like arousal and just being hyped as soon as I press that record button. If, if I actually do remember to press the record button. Now don't worry by the way, I, I didn't forget to press record this time around. Like this is the first time I'm playing this right now. You're seeing the first take, don't you worry about that. But uh, last video may or may not have been a case of me forgetting to press record again. For the first like couple of 15 minutes or something probably. But I, I made it a mission for myself to not let that be noticeable at all in the last video. I just pressed record again, started over and... I try to be as sincere as possible and trying to not let you guys notice that I actually forgot to press record again and I think I did a pretty pretty great job at that. I gotta say that I have also made a promise to myself to really never forget it from now on because I mean I've, I've done it enough for now I'm kind of getting tired of it you know so 
it's probably gonna be like double, triple, quadruple checking before I start each video, but I think that's worth it. Again, I don't really mind recording something again because I enjoy recording quite a lot. But mm, doing it from the first time makes it a bit more sincere and makes my reactions and commentary a bit more a bit more thought through and yeah, a bit more natural definitely. Donk. There we go. We saved Arthur Weasley. They're dead. You are my dad. You're my dad! Wookie wookie wookie! Weekend's coming up, huh? You guys have any plans for this weekend? You you won't be able to answer me because it's gonna be Saturday already, but still. If you have any plans for Sunday, you can still answer me if you want to. I don't think anybody's actually gonna answer me, but still. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Yeah, it's the intention that counts. For me personally, I don't really have anything special planned, I think. What's this potion all about? Is it the invisibility one? Yes, it is. What are we gonna use that for? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z? No. Oh. I've been recording for 14 minutes already and I haven't really said a word because this level is just entirely made up out of stud collection for now it seems like. Me and my parents have actually developed the habit of eating something pretty nice on Friday, like each and every Friday we order something from a local business. And that it's always been delicious. Today it was Chinese food and that's probably my favorite food out there. Second place goes to Mexican food, but Chinese food will always remain at Station number one, I think. I don't understand what they want us to do with this book. Can't hit it. Really, Armus doesn't do anything. It's not a Bogart. Lumos will probably not act it in any way. But what's this about? Does Arthur maybe know a spell that we don't know yet? I don't know what I just did. I, I have no idea. I've just got no idea. But it worked out. Let's progress the mission. I think this is like episode 24 or something. I, I could be false in that. Please forgive me. It's all a bit of a blur in my head. But... That means that there's probably like, hmm, let me see, we're, we're probably gonna reach like around 30 episodes, I guess, in the game, in this game from year one to four, which is quite a hefty amount of episodes. It's quite a lot, I think. Not many people that are like discovering a new new YouTuber are gonna be like, oh, this is a nice and short series for me to enjoy. I'll check it out. No, they're gonna be like, what do you mean 30 episodes? And that's just one half of the games? No, thank you. Oh, apparently we saved Harry as well. There we go, good team time. And there that guy was again that we saw in the flashback. I know who that is already, so I could explain it to my non-Potterhead friends that are watching this, but uh, I think that would be a bit of a spoiler, so for now I'll just leave it to be a piece of guesswork for you guys, huh? I shouldn't really talk in plural, I guess, when I say things about that, because I think it's just my buddy Robert Jan and that's all of them. Everybody else knows Harry Potter probably that watches these videos, and with good reason. It's an amazing series, and I've been enjoying these games a lot as well. I gotta say though, looking forward to introducing something new, something else on my channel as well though, after we finish off this game. Oh yeah, year four, huh? Big year in Harry Potter world. The, the wizarding tournament, the tri-wizard tournament's coming to Hogwarts this year. Kind of, it's kind of like the Olympic Games for magic. You can see it kind of like that. Every school gets to submit one computer. Well, the computers submit themselves. They put their name in a goblet of fire. That's the name of the movie as well. And, uh, well, the book, I guess. They put their names in the Goblet of Fire, and the Goblet actually chooses who gets to be entered for his school. That's all things that will definitely be explained in the future by the story as well, probably, or that I will explain in the future when they come up. Let's get our cat out here. I'm not even gonna try to guess the name. I have no idea. I think it's something with shanks in the end, but cool beans. You guys like beans? I'm pretty into beans myself. All kinds of beans. Like the green bean, but also the kidney beans, the red kidney beans. Oh man, I could probably eat like a kilogram of those. They just they taste so hearty and, and soft in your mouth. But then again, they still have some texture left and the flavor. Oof. And some chilies and some chilies and some chili and some burritos. Can't top that. There's just no topping that. Straight up. Except for maybe Chinese food. Uh, Very smart. Very smart moves right there. Walk straight into that fire, you know. That's how we solve things down here in Mississippi. I don't know if Mississippi is something that is down here. I have no idea what the 
geography of US states look like looks like. I know where Texas is. I know where New York is. I know where California is, but I think that's probably about it. Oh well, yeah, Alaska, I know where that is as well. It's all the way at the top. Five out of five. Is that is that what I think it is? Do you guys see that? Do you guys smell that? Oh, that's all that good awful puff shit, right? Oh yeah. I swear to god, if this is gonna be the end of the mission and we're gonna be just short of that true wizard, I'm really gonna flip my shit because I have been collecting studs for the past 25 minutes. Please. Please no, <laughs> don't do this to me. Oh, I really hope we can collect some studs in this boss fight. Boss fight number 5,304 out of 4 million. Not that that's a bad thing, like, it introduces a bit of a challenge to these LEGO games. It's also cool that you can't switch between characters and restore HP, like your HP stays the same. So, one hit and I'm dead. See? I switched to Hermione, but still, she has only one one health point. I feel like they've definitely calmed down on dropping those hearts as well because I think in the first in the first years I remember them dropping constantly and me never needing them but now that I actually do need them they're uh, they're long gone. There we go. Probably gonna be the last phase I would think. Yep. So yeah. Jesus man. Calm down. That's a cool animation, even in Lego. Wow, look at that dreary, gloomy background. I'm gonna give that a nice contrast with my outro right here. I hope you enjoyed that short little episode. I did kind of notice my commentary slacking a bit because of me already being kind of tired. Like, my biorhythm has really started to pick up again and I'm starting to get tired before 12 o'clock. Fuck that 92%, by the way. That's halfway there. If you get that reference, 5 respect points, enjoy the outro. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.